I'm sorry, y'all, but, you know, uh, just getting some news here. News that we don't really want to hear, but I've been afraid um, because of what I've been hearing from people. You go to the Rams game watching Mark Holmes stream. <laughs> Wait, say what? Okay. Here's here's what we're hearing, okay? Uh, tomorrow, um, Mike McCarthy and stuff will be talking with the trainer um, about Dak Prescott and so on. Um, he's gotten better, of course. He's not in the walking boot like he was, but he's not quite all the way there. And basically, Cooper Rush has been taking all the snaps, first-team snaps with the team, and it's looking like Dak Prescott will not be playing on Sunday night. If you look at uh, the sports line, in fact, Michael looked at, you know, was telling me, he was like, wait a minute. He said, I thought the Cowboys were favored. And I said, they were. They were favored yesterday by two and a half. Well, the Cowboys are now two and a half point underdogs, um, which means Vegas is saying, okay, shit's changed. <laughs> when Vegas knows, that, then the shit's real. So at the moment, it looks like Dak Prescott will not be playing Sunday night. Cooper Rush will be starting. Now, I've been listening to a lot of y'all that are saying, oh, man, see, we need to have a good backup. Well, we thought we had a good backup last year with Andy Dalton. How well did that work? I remember years ago we ended up getting, you know, Brandon Wheaton because we said, okay, he was a first-round drafted quarterback. Great play there, touchdown Cardinals on third and nine. Green Bay's defense is ass. Up oh, there's a flag. Um, and when we found out that Brandon Wheaton wasn't exactly a quality backup, we said, let's get Matt Castle. You know, he had a winning season with Bill Belichick, you know. He ended up being a pro Bowl player and stuff. He came in and was ass too. Here's the thing. I'm okay with Cooper Rush being our star, although Kellen Moore might not be a bad idea. I'm okay with Cooper Rush because at least he knows the play calls. He knows the system. He what? I think it's on the Cardinals. If it is, yeah, it's face mask. Face mask. Face mask on the Cardinals. You okay. Just gave away um, Hopkins. Thank you, Hopkins. Um, I'm okay with Cooper Rush because our team is a good team around him. We should be able to rely. If we cannot rely on running the football, and this is where, you know, Kellen Moore has found a lot of great things to do with this offense being dynamic, where we've been ground and pound um, the rock, ground and pound, or we've gone and had been pass happy, well, you come up with a game plan that's going to be ground and pound and using the short passing game, okay? Basically, you're going to use, you know, Tony Pollard and Zeke Elliott, you know, on screen plays. You're going to end up using CeeDee Lamb in the slot and quick hitting uh, stuff. You're going to end up using short field, easy plays. And let's just say, let's rely on the team here, Okay. Let's rely on the team. So, Dak Prescott looks like he's going to be missing this game. Uh, we haven't got official confirmation, but that's what my sources just, you know, while we're doing this live stream. Um, oh, and Thomas, that's true. Tom, uh, That's fine, Thomas. That's fine. Uh, you know, but when it comes out and they say Dak Prescott's out, just remember, just remember where you heard it from, okay? Okay. Um, Alan Williams says Dak will play. You know what? But see, here's the thing. <clears throat> let's say Dak hypothetically. Let, let's play. Let's play the hypothetical game. Let's say Dak goes out there. That ankle. Um, that excuse me. That uh, calf is not 100, percent and he throws another play, and it's not a strain. It's a tear. And then they say you're out the next six weeks. Look at Michael Gallup. Michael Gallup had a tore, a tear in his calf. You see how much time Michael Gallup has missed. You see how much time Michael Gallup has missed. Would you like that to happen with your quarterback? Or would you say, you know what? We'll play the Vikings without Dak Prescott for one game, to be sure, so that way we have him for the other 10 games for the rest of the season. you got to look at this as risk and reward. Risk and reward. If, if we go out there and play Dak and we win the game and lose him for six games, how does that help us? How does that help us? So, again, we'll find out 
if my sources are right or not. But <clears throat> they've been pretty, pretty good. They've been really, really good. And, and, and here's the other part about this, too, is listen, listen to Zeke Elliott. Zeke, listen to Zeke saying, you know, he's doing everything, you know, that he can. He's going to try to be there. It, it's, it's, it, I told you yesterday, it put a little bit of doubt in there whether or not he was going to be ready. And I would rather, I, this is where I see Mike McCarthy is looking at the long pitcher as opposed to the short run. You know, some coaches are like, you know, if you can walk, you're going to play. Hey, you know what? This is bigger than just Minnesota game. If Zeke can speak on Cooper Rush, we're good. I just said that. Um, Dak is tough as nails, um, and the line will protect him. Well, well, here, Allen. Guess what, Allen? He didn't get hit when he hurt his calf. Okay? Let me say this. When he hurt his calf, it was how he landed on the pass. He put a lot of mustard and boom. The foot went down. It's not necessarily about just getting hit by Minnesota. How many times have you seen guys running on the field and all of a sudden they go down and they've never been touched? You've got to let 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 put up Dak's 18-minute interview today. Okay, I'm just saying, just saying. We'll, we'll find out. Um, I actually didn't see his interview. From today, let me see if I can find it in a second here. We're toasted. Cooper Rush can't throw, can't run, can't think under pressure. We're toasted. Well, you know what? They probably said the same thing about Jason Garrett on that Thanksgiving game. Shane Brown. Well, I guess what a week or two isn't going to do a damn thing for a strained calf. Then, well, but three weeks might because it's already been two. To give it one more week to make sure, there you go. Come on. Uh, I'm just bugging. Rush will do fine. I want Dak. Um, I, 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 listen, you know I want Dak, but you got to look at this and say, do you care about a game right now in October or do you care about January and February? And I think if there's, if there's a doubt, if there's a possibility that, Playing him for this game ends up being that his leg gets worse as opposed to giving him an extra week and saying there's a better chance that he won't hurt it. I'm with waiting another week. Uh, I'm just, that, that's just me. And, you know, Kevin Joseph has to replace immediately. I don't mind Cooper Rush this week, though, Mark. Um, yeah, there is a chance, and there's also a chance that he doesn't. So we'll find out. We'll find out, and we'll see where it goes. But that's what I'm hearing. Word is is that he is not going to be playing this week. And again, let me let me make this clear. Vegas has had a five point swing in the uh, point spread, where the Cowboys were favored by two and a half, and now the Vikings are two and a half point favorites. So. When you look at Vegas, follow the money, and they're going to lead you where it goes. So there we go. Cards playing two backups. Okay. All right. 